Good evening and welcome to your one hour power yoga practice. Uh, we'll start off today in a reclined uh, butterfly. So we'll make our way down onto our mats. Bringing the soles of your feet to touch and allow your knees to fall to the sides of your mats. Getting that stretch in your inner groin. And we'll just start off by tuning into our breath. You have the option to place your right hand onto your belly and your left hand onto your chest. As you are, take a deep inhale into your nose, filling up your belly. And slowly exhale up through your nose. Inhale into your nose. And exhale through your nose. Continue to follow the rhythm of your breath. Inhale in. And exhale. Feel the weight of your body as you lie down to your mat. Noticing any areas of tension. As you are, take two complete cycles of breath. Inhale. And exhale. One more inhale. And slowly exhale now through your nose. With your hands gathering your knees together, draw your knees into your chest, giving your knees a squeeze. Jenny rocking from side to side. And we'll make our way into a tabletop. Stacking your wrists with your shoulders and your knees with your hips. And here, inhale, extend your right arm to the top of your mat and your left leg to the bottom of your mat. Inhale and exhale, draw your right elbow towards your left knee and squeeze. Inhale, extend your right arm forward, left leg right back, and exhale to squeeze. Inhale to lengthen, and exhale to squeeze. We'll do this two more times. Inhale, extend your left leg back and right arm forward. Exhale to speed. And one more inhale. And exhale back to where we started in table time. We'll do the same on the opposite side. Inhale, extend your left arm forward, right leg back. And exhale, move to elbow to speed. Inhale to lengthen and exhale move to elbow. Inhale and exhale to squeeze. Two more times. Inhale and exhale. Last one. Inhale and exhale back to your table. Door. Curling your toes under, lift your knees and your hips up as you push away from the top of your mat, spreading your fingers into your first downward facing dog. From your downward facing dog, your feet will bend your knees as much as you like as you draw your chest towards your knee, feeling that stretch in your shoulders and your back. And take a few moments here in your downward facing dog to pedal out your heels. Shift your hips from side to side. And just stick with your knee here in your first down facing dog. 
Not again, you had yes or no. When you're ready, finding your way back into down facing dog, take a deep inhale into your nose and exhale, bend your knees and slowly make your way to the top of your neck. Keeping your fingertips low, inhale, slide your hands on the shins, step back, squeeze your shoulder blades together, and exhale, fold forward, chest to thighs, knees to the knees. Inhale, sweeping your arms over your head, knees up, and exhale, bending your elbows to protect his arms, finding a back bend. Inhale, Extending your arms over your head, reaching your gaze up. And exhale, forward fold to release. Inhale, extend your right arm up, bending it to your left knee as you lengthen out your right leg, finding that twist. And exhale, look down to the tips of the floor. Inhale, extend your left arm up over your head, bending up to your right knee, extending your left leg. And exhale, look down from the tips of the floor. Inhale, hands on your shins, flat back, knees, pass your nose. And exhale, forward fold, touch your hands and step back into your high plank. Option here to lower your knees and onto your mat as you make your way down to your push up. Uncurl your back toes. Inhale, find your back, small back bend to your and exhale into downward facing dog. Taking three cycles of breath in your downward facing dog. Inhale and exhale out. Inhale into your nose and exhale out through your nose. Last one, inhale. And on your exhale, bend your knees, make your weight on the top of your neck. Inhale, half up, hands on your shins, flat back, and exhale, forward forward. Inhale, stand tall, sweep your arms over your head, and exhale, finding your back bend as you bend your elbows. Inhale, reach your top knees up, and exhale, forward forward for release. You have our two twists here. Inhale, lifting your right arm up. And exhale, look down from the tips of the floor. Inhale, left arm up. And exhale, look down from the tips of the floor. Inhale, hands on your shin flat back. And exhale, plant your hands, step back into your high plank as you lower down into your cushion. Inhaling into your upward facing dog. And exhaling into the downward facing dog. Again, taking three seconds of breath. As we move through sun, we're warming up our spine and our back. Inhaling into your nose and exhaling out through your nose. Inhale in and exhale out. One more inhale. And when you exhale, bend your knees, step or hop to the top of your hands. Inhale, hands on your shins, now back. And exhale, forward, forward. Pressing through your feet, inhale, stand tall, gaze up. And exhale, on your back bends. Inhale, reaching tall, gaze up. And exhale, forward, forward. Inhale, lift your right arm up. And exhale, lift down to the push of the foot. Inhale, left arm up, and exhale, look down. Inhale, half up, and you half up, and exhale, plant your hands, step back, get the flow to this lower down to the push up. Inhale, into upward facing dog, and exhale, into downward facing dog. We move through sun any one more time. Inhale, into your nose. And exit out through your nose. 
Bend your in. And then you exhale, bend your knees, step or hop to the top of your knees. Inhale, half up. And exhale, move forward. Inhale, stand your toes with your arms over your head. And exhale, find your back bend. Lifting your chest, inhale, sweep your arms up. And exhale, forward, forward. Inhale, right arm up. And exhale, look down to the foot to the foot. Inhale, left arm up. And exhale, look down to the foot to the foot. Inhale, hands on chin, start back. And exhale, plant your hands, step back, taking your flow here. Inhaling into upward facing dog. And exhaling into downward facing dog. Allow three cycles to breathe. Inhale. And exhale out through your nose. Inhale in. And exhale out. One more inhale. And on your exhale, bend your knees, step or hop to the top of your neck. Inhale, swing your shin, hands on your shins, slide back. And exhale, forward, forward. Inhale, sweep your arms over your head. And exhale, placing your hands at heart center. And here, we're set up for a velocity, our yoga squat. You'll toe your heels to slightly as wide as your mat. Your heels are pointing in and your toes are pointing out. Begin to sink your hips down onto your heel until your elbows meet your knees. Pressing to your hands and notice if your back is collapsing. Continue to lift your chest. As you push your elbows towards your knees. Continue to draw your navel into your spine. Slightly tuck your chin in. Keep your neck long. Taking two cycles of breath. And on your last exhale, leave some hands, pull through your heels, the width apart. Inhale, so you can arms over your head, reaching your gaze up. And exhale, pull it forward. Inhale, and so on your shins fell back. And exhale, plant your hands, take your flow as you lower down for pushing, riding your back. Inhale into your upward facing dog. And exhale into downward facing dog. And here we'll start building our sun feet, warming up our hips. Taking three cycles of breath here in your down facing dog. Inhale and exhale. Inhale in through your nose and exhale out through your nose. One more inhale and on your exhale, bend your knees, make your weight to the top of your knees. Inhale, hands on your chest, slide back and exhale, to a fold. Bending your knees deeper, placing the weight of your body on your heels as you find. A deep squat into your chair pose, sweep your arms over your head. Imagine you are sitting on an imaginary chair. Continue to draw your navel into your spine, to engage your core. And on your exhale, fold forward, lengthening your legs. Inhale, half up, hands on your chin, slide back. And exhale, touch your hands, step back, taking a flip. Inhale into upward facing dog. And exhale into downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your right leg up. And exhale, draw your right knee to your right elbow and space for a plank. 
inhale right leg up and exhale right knee to opposite elbow and squeeze. Inhale right leg up and exhale plant your right foot in between the hands. Keeping your back heel lifted. Inhale rising up at the crescent lunge. And exhale. Pivot back to your back heel, arms to the strong feet into warrior two. Inhale here. And exhale is placing your right elbow onto your right knee. So stroke your left arm over your head from the side angle pose. And on your exhale, look down, left your hands, pivot, lifting your left knee, or your left heel up, right arm up, finding the twist. And exhale, look down, plant your hands, step back, taking the floor here. As you lower down, keep pushing. Inhale into your upward facing dog, and exhale into your down facing dog. Do the same on the opposite leg. Inhale, lift your left leg up, and exhale, left knee to left elbow and squeeze. Inhale, left leg up, exhale, left knee to opposite elbow. Inhale, left leg up, and exhale, step your left foot for the top three minutes. Inhale into your crescent lunge, and exhale into your warrior two. This is your left elbow onto your left. So stroke your right arm over your head. And exhale, look down, touch your hands. Inhale, lift your left arm up. And exhale, touch your hands, the heel floor. Inhale into upward facing down. And exhale into downward facing down. You can freeze that close to breath. Inhale and exhale. Inhale in and exhale out. And your last inhale and exhale. Bend your knees, step or hop to the top of your mat. Inhale, hand up, hands on your shins, my back. And exhale, forward fold. Bend your knees, inhale into your chair pose, and exhale, full fold. Inhale, half up, and exhale, plant your hands, the back kick your floor. Inhale, upward facing dog, and exhale, down facing dog. Inhale, lift your right leg up, and exhale, right knee to the elbow. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, right knee to the opposite elbow. Inhale, right leg up. And exhale, stepping your leg. Inhale into your crescent lunge. And exhale into your warrior two. Right elbow to the right knee. Inhale. So stroke your left arm over your head. And exhale, look down, touch your hands. Inhale, right arm up. And exhale, plant your hands, pick your floor. Inhale, lift your left leg up. And exhale, left knee to the elbow. Inhale, left leg up. And exhale, left knee to the opposite elbow. Inhale, left leg up. And exhale, step your left foot. Inhale into your crescent lunge and exhale into your warrior two. Inhale into your side angle pose and exhale into your dragon fly twist. Inhale look down, taking your floor. Take your three cycles of breath. Inhale, open your mouth and side up. Inhale and empty your nose and open your mouth to side up. One more inhale and exhale to side up. 
Inhale, bend your knees, step or hop to the top of your mat. Inhale, half up, and exhale, pull forward. Inhale into the chair pose, and exhale, pull forward. Inhale, half up, and exhale, plant your hands the back to the floor. Inhale into upward facing dog, and exhale into downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your right leg up, and exhale, right knee to the right elbow. Inhale, right leg up, and exhale, right knee to the opposite elbow. Inhale, lift your right leg up, and exhale, plant your right foot. Inhale, into crescent lunge, and exhale, into your warrior two. Inhale, into your side angle pose, and exhale, lift down, flat your hands. Inhale into your dragon fly twist. And exhale, touch your hands, take your lift. Inhale into upward facing dog. And exhale into downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your left leg up. And exhale, left knee to left elbow. Inhale, left leg up. And exhale, left knee to opposite elbow. Inhale, left leg up. And exhale, step your left foot three. Inhale into your crescent lunge. And exhale into your warrior two. Inhale into your side angle pose. And exhale into your dragon foot. Inhale back down. Let your hands to the lift off. Use three cycles of breath. And on your last exhale, bend your knees, make your way to the top of your mat. Inhale, half up. And exhale, forward fold. Inhale, keep your arms over your head, and exhale, place your hands to the center. And here, setting up for needle pose, placing your arms to your feet, wrapping your right elbow underneath your left. Or you have the option to grab onto opposite elbows. You choose. From here, bending your knees. Lifting your right knee over your left, squeezing your thighs together. And notice if your back is collapsing, continue to lift your shoulders, your chest. And taking a few cycles of breath here. Inhale, lifting up. And exhale, lower your elbows to your knees. Slowly unraveling, and we'll come back to the south of your neck. The feet will shift on your legs and arms. And we'll do the same on the opposite side. Just your arms to the T. This time, wrapping your left elbow underneath the right or opposite or choose. Well, option to place your shoulders or your hands in your shoulders. Bending your knees, wrapping your left knee onto your right. Continue to tune into your breath.
to do two cycles of breath now as you want. And on your next inhale, let your elbows and exhale, draw your elbows to your knees. Slowly and gradually, and come back to where we started and one. So you know your legs and your arms, placing your hands on your heart center, taking a quarter turn to your right, pivoting your toes to the back of your mat, placing your right. Add onto your hip, keeping your left arm up. Inhale and exhale, reaching forward, placing your left hand onto your right ankle. You have the option to use the block here to bring the ground closer to you into the ball triangle. Feel free to lift your arm over your head, finding a twist. You get three cycles of breath in this posture. On your last exhale, look down. Make your way back to the front of your mat. You take your heels to your heels, slightly wider than your hips. Your heels are pointing in and your toes are pointing out. And here, begin to sink your hips, using arms to the T, keeping your palms open. Continue to draw your navel into your chest, up to your, to your spine, to engage your core. Taking three cycles of breath. On your last exhale, extend your legs. Pivoting your toes to the top of your mat. This time, placing your left hand onto your hip. Inhale, sweep your right arm up. And exhale, hinging forward, placing your left, your right hand onto your left ankle. Option to sweep your left arm up. And allow me three seconds of breath in this posture. And your last exhale, look down. We'll be making your way back to the top of your mat, pivoting your toes to the back of your mat. Take a half step forward with your training leg. Option to grab onto opposite wrist or feel free to place your hand in the first plate, setting up for the pyramid. Inhale, lift your chest knees up and exhale, melting forward onto your right leg, gazing past your right shin. Taking two seconds of breath. And then your last exhale, so we'll be making your way back up. Make sure your heels wider than your hips. This time your toes are pointing in and your heels are pointing out. Inhale, sweep your arms over your head. And exhale, holding forward. Walking your hands to the back of your mat. 
finding a wildlife for his food. Feeling that stretch in your hamstring. Releasing your head and your cheek. And your tension around your neck, your shoulders. Taking three seconds of breath here. And then your last exhale, walking your hands to the top. Inhale, half up. And exhale, placing your hands on your hips as you slowly rise up. Go to pivoting your toes to the front of your mat, taking a half step forward with your trailing leg, starting off a pyramid pose. Again, you choose to grab onto opposite elbows and placing your hands in reverse trail. Inhale, lift your chest to the up. And exhale, mounting forward onto your left leg this time, using past your left shin. Inhale in, inhale in through your nose and exhale out through your mouth. Inhale slowly rising up, stepping to the top of your mat, placing your hands in high center. Inhale, sweep your arms over your head, reaching out your knees up, and exhale, forward forward. With your peace fingers, grabbing onto your big toes. Begin to pull your weight down. Then your elbows, spray, splaying your elbows to the side, gazing past the knee. Releasing your neck, your head. As you breathe into your hamstrings and your lower back, Taking two seconds of breath here as you want. And on your last exhale, releasing your hands. Inhale, hands on your shin flat back. And exhale, slipping your hands underneath your feet, bringing your toes to touch the feet. Inhale, half up to lengthen, and exhale, forward fold. You should feel a deeper stretch in your hamstring and your wrist. Releasing your head. Taking three seconds of breath here as you are. And 
And then the last exhale, release your hands. Inhale, half up, hands on your shins, step back. And exhale, forward fold, touch your hands, step back, take more flow through. Right in your breath is lower down. Inhale into your upward facing dog. And exhale into down facing dog. Lowering your knees down onto your mats. Sweeping your legs to the top of your mat. Keeping your knees bent. Placing your feet so you get apart. Sitting tall, draw your navel into your spine. So you're tucking your chin in. And slowly leaning back. Your feet to add your arms. Spreading your fingers. An option here to lift your heels up into full bolt. Continue to breathe into this posture. And on your last exhale, slowly making your way down to right down onto your back. Draw your knees into your chest, giving your knees a squeeze. Gently rocking from side to side. And when you're ready, we'll set up for both knees one more time. Stepping your feet onto your mat, bending your knees. Sitting tall. Option to stay here as you are, or feel free to lift your heels up. Holding here for five seconds of breath. Continue to lift your chest, knees up. As he knows. And on your last exhale, slowly make your way down to your mat. Drawing your knees into your chest, giving your knees a squeeze. Then you're walking from side to side. And we'll make our way into down facing back. We'll start to transition into a yin posture. Inhale, lift your right leg up. And exhale, step your right foot to the top of your mat. Lower your back knee down onto your mat. Heel to your heels. Just slightly off your mat. Your toes are pointing up. Placing your hands on your instep. And continue to push forward and down. Finding that stretch in your hip flexor, in your inner groin. Yeah, allow your breath to lengthen, slowing down your breathing. Allow your exhales to be double your inhales, as this allows you to soften even further. If you wish to go further, you have the option to go down onto your elbows. Or feel free to stay here as you want. So you choose. Always avoid any sharp shooting pain. Releasing your head, and your neck, your shoulder.
taking two complete cycles of breath. And on your last exhale, slowly pressing yourself up. From each and downward facing up. The feet to pedal of your heels. And when you're ready, inhale, lift your left leg up. And exhale, step your left foot to the top of your mat. And on your instep, locking your left foot, you're sliding off your mat, toes pointing up. Lowering your right knee down, pushing forward and down. Option to go down with your elbows for deeper stretch. Always tuning into your breath. Taking two complete cycles of breath without rushing. And on your last exhale, slowly pressing yourself up. This time, sliding your left leg to the back of your mat to make our way to lie down to face down. Turning your gaze to your right, resting your left ear onto your mat, placing your arms to your feet, palms facing down, bending your left, your right elbow, placing your right palm underneath your right shoulder. Pressing through your left, your right hand, sweeping your left, right leg. It's over your left leg, finding that stretch on your left shoulder. Always adjust accordingly and avoid any sharp shooting pain on your neck. For a deeper stretch, you have an option to sweep your right arm over your head, sliding it to the shelf of your lower back. Without rushing, taking three complete cycles of breath. And then your last exhale, slowly bring yourself back to the center of your mat. Turning your gaze in the opposite direction, resting your right ear onto your mat. Bending your left elbow on the spine, placing your left hand underneath the left shoulder. Inhale, pushing into your left palm, sweeping your left leg over your right. An option to sweep your right. Arm over, pressing on the shelf to your lower back.
taking three complete cycles of breath. And on your last exhale, slowly bring yourself back to the center of your mat. Bring your hands underneath your shoulders, press yourself up. Moving your legs to the bottom of the, the top of the mat, making your way to lie down. Keeping your feet onto your mats, hip width apart, blocking your heels towards your hip, placing your hands onto your mats, palms facing down. And when you inhale, lift your hips up, squeeze your shoulder blades together as you interlace your fingers, drawing your knuckles towards your heels, drawing your knees in close together, engaging your core, your glutes. Now you touch your chin in. I'm holding here for five, four, three, two, and slowly releasing your hands as you roll down one vertebra at a time. When your hips from your mats, we shall wipe your knees from side to side. And we'll do this one more time, finding your way back to the center of your mat, arms beside you, palms facing down. Inhale, lift your hips up, squeeze your shoulder blades together, introduce your fingers. Holding here for five, four, three, two, and slowly rolling down one vertebra at a time. Drawing your knees into your chest, giving your knees a squeeze. Placing your arms to your T, palms facing up. And lower your knees down onto your right, finding that twist. Feel free to stack your knees together or stagger. And notice if your right shoulder is lifting off your mat. Feel free to slide your right hand further to the right is to allow your right shoulder, your left shoulder, to rest onto your mat. For deeper stretch, you have the option to place your right hand on top of your left knee. Gently closing your eyes as you breathe into the left side of your rib cage. Taking three complete cycles of breath. And on your last exhale, join the knees into your chest, giving your knees a squeeze. Placing your arms to your teeth, palms facing up and slowly lowering your knees down onto your left. Finding that twist. Option to place your left hand onto your right knee.
taking three complete cycles of breath in this case. On your last exhale, slowly making your way back to the center of your neck, drawing your knees into your chest, giving your knees a squeeze. And when you're ready, extending your right leg to the bottom right corner of your mat and your left leg to the bottom left corner of your mat. Your arms beside you, palms facing up, taking as much space here to allow your shoulders to rest onto your mat. Gently you closing your eyes and just allowing the next few moments to soak in your practice. When you're ready, begin to wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes, gently turning your head from side to side. Inhale, sweep your arms over your heads as you bring your feet together, pointing your toes and your fingers to stretch to lengthen. And exhale, join your knees into your chest, giving your knees a squeeze. Gently rocking from side to side. And making your way into a fetal position, choosing one side. Using your bicep as a pillow. Pressing into your palm. And make our way into the seated position, cross the foot. Sitting tall, placing your hands to a heart center. Thank you for sharing your practice here today. The lights of me, that was an honor, so lighten me from my heart to yours. Namaste.